where you live. A winter weather advisory is in effect for the southern half of the viewing area, and that will last until 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. And that's because we're tracking even more snow that's on its way. But about 1.2 inches of snow has fallen in Lafayette, three quarters of an inch in Frankfort, about an inch for both Crawfordsville and Attica, and about 1.2 inches in White County, just south of Monticello. And we have this system moving in, as you can see, off to the west. We still have quite a ways to go, and we'll see the heaviest amount of snow during the overnight hours. But here's a look at our Precision 18 radar. Still seeing widespread snow showers, the lighter amounts of snow currently falling in our northern counties just around Rensselaer, Monticello, Royal Center. But as we travel south, you can see the darker shades of blue just around Lafayette and also in portions of northeastern Warren County and just southeastern parts of Benton County and still seeing that snow showers in Linden, Crawfordsville and also Thorntown and Frankfort. And we'll continue to see these snow showers during the overnight hours, as you can see on our Precision Future Cast. Still seeing snow tomorrow morning, just around 7 o'clock, getting a brief break in the middle part of the, of the day. Notice just around the lunch hour, we can see much of the snow has pushed out, but another wave moves in. In the afternoon hours, around 5 o'clock, another wave of snow that will move out by 9 o'clock in the evening. And then high pressure moves in for at least the first part of Monday before another system arrives. We'll have increasing clouds during the day Monday and then a chance for a wintry mix on Tuesday. But it looks like we'll see three to six inches for much of the viewing area by Sunday evening with lighter totals to our far northwestern locations. But much of the area will see snowfall by the time we get to that later afternoon hours tomorrow. But heaviest snowfall will occur overnight tonight. And then we have the hazards of low visibility and slick roads. So just take caution on the roadways if you do plan on traveling. And then we have another system that is expecting to move in later on the day Monday with the freezing rain potential for the first part of Tuesday. But this afternoon, a high of 25 degrees in Lafayette. Yet, and we're now just sitting around 20 degrees, still seeing snow showers. Winds from the east just around 8 miles per hour, but take note of the visibility already down to a mile, and that's another threat that we have during the overnight hours. Currently 19 in Kokomo, 20 in Rossville, 20 in Crawfordsville, and currently 21 up in Rensselaer. And we're expecting temperatures to hold steady overnight, 20 by 3 o'clock, and then slowly rising just around 4 o'clock in the morning. We should rebound around 21 degrees with a high of 31 by 4 o'clock in the afternoon, keeping a chance for flurries in the morning and then lighter snow showers in the afternoon. High of 31 in Lafayette, 30 in Delphi, upper 20s up to our far northern locations. High of 29 degrees in Winnemac. Temperatures this week will actually climb by Tuesday, 43 degrees for a high Tuesday, and then we sink right back down to 20 by next Thursday. Overall staying pretty below average. Our average high is 42, so cooler for the extended period. But tonight, just around 20 degrees with steady temperatures, and then only a high of 31 tomorrow afternoon with lighter snow showers, and then totals anywhere from 3 to 6 inches for much of the viewing area. Brief break on Monday, mostly cloudy skies, a high of 28 degrees, and then Tuesday, another wave moves in. We have a chance for freezing rain, icy mix, and